Hi, these two are 800 meter usual long distance PoE switch. Some of the port can supply up to 800 meter PoE. 800 meter, it sounds crazy, right? Uh, let's just take off the case and let's look at the secret inside of the switch. This is the four channel only port one and port second port can supply up to 800 meter. And this part is the power source. And the AC power will be converted to the DC for the PoE. And you can see if you look close, this is the secret why this switch can supply usual long distance. This separate board has two very important chipset which can supply usual long distance. You see two because it's just relate to port one and port two. Then port three and port four just the regular PoE switch which can supply 100 meter network. You see the switch can send usual long distance network to the HTYs like, like this IP camera. But this is just regular camera. If it need to return the signal, it also need a usual long distance chipset. So that's the reason why we need the PoE data. This PoE data, I uh, just take off the PCB board from this PoE data. If you look close, it has very similar design. These two are also the usual long distance chipset, which will help the camera to return the signal. So now we know if we need the we need to have the usual long distance, we need the port, the, some of the port, which can supply the usual long distance. We also need to install the PoE adapter at each of the links at the edge, so it can return the signal for usual long distance. All right, now let's just make a quick test. I cannot find the 800 meter internet cable in the market. The, the standard cable I got just 300 meter, so I got two. Now what I need is just this coupler to chain these two cables together to have 1600 meter. It's nothing else, just the coupler to join two cables together. And now at the, at the back end, I'm going to connect the cable to the port 1. It could be port 2 because it's only port 1 and port 2 support usual long distance PoE. I also need to install this PoE adapter next to the camera to return the signal for usual long distance. Now I find the cable and connect to the input of the PoE adapter. And I also need the punch code to connect the output to the camera. Now let's just wait for a while. I can hear the motor is running, which means the camera is taking the power. This is the remote focus zoom camera, so there's motor. All right, and now the camera is live. But it will take a while before we can see the best focus, because it will just testing the focus. I think the one thing you may consider is the bandwidth. Within the 500 meter, the bandwidth is 100 megabyte per second. But after 500 meter to 800 meter, the bandwidth will downgrade to 10 megabyte per second, which is still enough for one camera. So in the next video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use connect the PoE, PoE another PoE switch about the 500 meter distance. So you can connect more than one camera within 500 meter. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.